Hey loves, welcome back to another video here on my channel. If you are new, my name is Sharon and I would appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe and like button. So today's video is a super exciting one. I was gifted the brand new template from CJS, which is also known as Clear Jelly Stamper. It's amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see this. So if you don't know, Debbie is the creator of CJS and I absolutely think she's incredible. I've had the privilege of meeting her a couple of times. She's so sweet and absolutely inspiring. Um, I can't believe that she created this little thing that was missing from the nail world that was brilliant and she's cre created an empire <laughs> like CJS is unlimited unstoppable and I am so excited to see what they create for 2021 but starting with this template as of January 14th you can get your hands on this it is so so beautiful there's a ton of different patterns that you can do and this template is CJS 176. So in this video, I show you not one, but two tutorials of different templates I use off of here. So if you are interested in seeing what I create, then just keep watching. Bye! All right, so I wanted to start off by showing you the template a little more closer. So this is the card that comes on the back of the template when you purchase it. It gives you a bunch of great ideas on how to actually use the template and which ones, um, which layers are supposed to go together. I really love this. It's so, so cute. And here is the actual template. So once again, it's number 176. There we go. And you don't have to layer them. If you want to just use this on its own or that on its own or this on its own, you absolutely can. You don't have to actually layer them. CJS templates are just so versatile that way. But yeah, so now let's get started with the demo and we're going to dive into the green set first. All right, so for the colors used in today's video are from Magic Gel. The green is Cala Green. Then this background right here is Natural Peach, uh, Natural Peach Camouflage. And then this glitter is Vanilla Ice. I will list all of the colors used down in the description bar below. So the first step we're going to do is take the template. I'm actually going to put some paper towel down just so I don't ruin my background. Okay, so the two stamping polishes we're going to be using from CJS is number one and then 051. It's like this really beautiful champagne gold and it matches perfectly with the glitter. And then I did take out all three of the stamping, like the baby bling, the big bling, and then this new square um, or rectangle bling. But um, we are going to start, we're going to try this rectangle one out. And I'm going to start with this template right here. So we're going to do this part gold and then this part black. And I have my little sticky pad ready to go. And the little scraper. And I do like to wipe off the scraper in between it every time you use it. Now I'm just going in with some nail polish remover, cleaning that up. And I'm going to do the same thing to the thumb. Okay, now we're going to go in with the black. And we're going to use this part right here. 
and go directly on top. How cute is that? It's got that like aztec -y abstract kind of vibe to it. I think it's so cute. Okay, that's it for that design. And now we're gonna do this adorable little leopard right here. Do you see him? And what we're gonna do with him is set him so he's sitting on this green porch or this green line. <laughs> so the inside of him will be this gold again and then we're gonna do the outline of him in the black. And I'm gonna switch over to my baby bling. I just feel like it picks up that small template a little easier. It looks like he's laying right on the green part. Of him <laughs> you know just assuming it's a him could be a girl okay and then next we are going to take this one right here do you see this stripe right here I'm gonna take that and go right at the bottom and I'm gonna stick with the baby bling and I'm going to do it in black. Mm, that one didn't turn out very well. I'm gonna do that again. All right, just so it has like three little spots right there. And then if you see at the bottom here, it says, hear me roar. I, I was debating, I kind of like the wild thing and I like the wild child, but I think we're gonna do the hear me roar. How perfect is that? Perfect. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, I love it. I really love this. I think that looks so, so cool. And then what I would normally do for an, a different nail is I'd probably bling it up or I would suggest maybe making this black, like have a black nail as a different accent. I think that'd be really pretty. So now I'm just going to go and matte these and shiny coat this one. Okay, and here is the finished look. What do you think? I love the matte green. I think it looks so nice. And the gold polish still kind of looks metallic-y even though it's matte. Yeah, this is so cute. All right, so let's move on into the red set next. All right, so for the red set, I used Magic Gel Gel Polishes. This is the MLAC in 31 and 68. And the stamping polishes we're going to be using for this set is number 66 or 
99. I'm not sure. One of the two. <laughs> um, and then this one is 062. So I'm thinking it's 66. But it's kind of like a milky, nudish kind of color. And then obviously the black again. And the first step we're going to be doing is taking this shade, the 66 or 99, and we're going to use this template right here. Okay, so you should have something like that. And then we're gonna take the outline, which is this one right here, and we're going to outline it in black. Now, I practiced this before I actually just filmed this, because I was debating if I should make it um, off-centered or try to, um, try to match them up perfectly. And I kind of liked how it looked both ways. So we'll just see how well I match it up right now. <laughs> All right. I really like that color combo together. I think this is so cute. I would totally wear this. Okay, and then I'm going to take the black and I'm going to go in with this line right here. Okay, and now going back in with that first template we used, I'm going to do it on this nail as well, but we're gonna do something a little different. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some black gel polish. This is totally optional. But I'm gonna make a little heart out of this. Okay, so I'm going to give this a cure now. Okay, so that's what it looks like coming out from the light. Um, on the pinky, I did just add some polka dots to outline the lacy looking stuff. I just thought it would add something cute to it. But now we're going to work on the thumb. And I'm going to be doing this heart with just this part, not the inside, just this. So it'll be that and this. Now I am gonna use this red. It took me a lot of tries to be able to get this heart stamped. So I'm actually just going to pull this out so I can stamp it quickly because I can't bend my thumb very well. If this was a real client, she could just hold her thumb like that, but since it's not, 
And I'm just using little baby blinger. Yeah, see, this may take me a few tries. There we go, so I did two layers of the red um, just to make it match better with the nail color. And don't worry, I will clean up the mess I made around the hearts. Okay, now I'm gonna take the black. right? Oh, I love it so much. I really want to do this exact set on my nails. Well, I want to do the green ones too, but <laughs> this um, I was thinking would be perfect for Valentine's and I'll explain it once I finish this whole thing off. All right, what do you think? Now I'm just going to go and clean up the excess mess I made. Okay, and I'm just taking some of that black gel polish, just a little dot. And I'm just going to add a couple little polka dots just to match the pinky. There we go. So I'm just gonna cure this, okay? Okay, so this is where we're at. I did end up putting a third lacy thing in the center and then adding a couple more polka dots because I really wanted it to look like lace. Um, that was my goal. So I feel like I accomplished that. And then here is the thumb all finished. So now I'm just actually going to add a couple black diamonds here. I think it's going to look really nice. And I'm just using Ugly Duckling Stick It. And some rose gold billion beads. Okay, so that's that. I think it looks so pretty. It almost looks like you, um, like a corset, you know, the back when you tie it all up. I feel like that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm just gonna give this a cure and then I am going to make these all shiny and then we'll come back to the end. Okay, and here is the finished look. 
I think this turned out so cute. So my idea behind this was I wanted to do the green set as a more everyday kind of template that you can use. But then I also wanted to do this red set so you can incorporate it into a holiday type of way. So as you can see my nails, they are kind of a wintry set and this template is also from CJS. So I was able to do a wintry set with leopard and you can do a Valentine set with leopard print. So I just, I really like how these turned out. I really do love the thumb. I think the thumb is just so cute with the two hearts. It's like you and your lover. Um, but yeah, comment below which set you preferred more, the green or the red. And make sure you go and pick this template up. It's so, so worth it. I absolutely love this template. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.